Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamea's promo. And today I'll show you how you can change your volume control from the top and move it over to the side, as well as bring you more features at your fingertips. Now by default and out of the box, the volume control is on the very top of your phone. This is where you can change how loud you want your ringtones, how loud or how quiet you want your media, notification system sounds, but you're not really able to go through and also change your equalizer through there. So this video today, I'll show you how you can move it either to the left or to the right. You can change the colors and the theme of your little volume controls, as well as going through the controls of the equalizer and getting it just perfect and right for you. Now this is all simply done by an application. It is free to download it and there's three different locations you can get it downloaded. The first one will be inside of the Galaxy Store. Now inside of the Galaxy Store, search for Sound Assistant. It's actually all one word made by Samsung. This is one location you can get it downloaded and installed. The next place is inside of your Play Store. Again, search for Sound Assistant. It's gonna be sitting right here. Again, made by Samsung. You can get it downloaded and installed. Or if you already had GoodLock, you can just open up GoodLock, head over inside of where it says Family, and then you will have Sound Assistant right there. So once you have this one downloaded and installed, you'll open it up and you're gonna see this option right here called Volume Panel Theme. Now once you have this one turned on, you can head down here and you can change how you want it to look. If you like it to look classic, it's gonna be on the very top of the phone, it's all gonna pull down, um, or you'd be able to go through and change it to Cero. Cero is a way that it's able to be vertical and then it places it on the right or left hand side. This is where you can go to the layout, you can have it on right, you can also have it on left, and then you can go through and change your color themes. So if you want one to kind of look, you know, slightly different, I usually like to have this one here as my personal choice, but just because of the way it looks on camera, uh, you're gonna be able to see things just a little bit better like that. So you can kind of go through, change, you know, and choose which one you want it to look like. So we're gonna go with this one here just because of, you know, the colors and the camera, it all just really blends in very well. Now all you'd have to do is once you open this up, uh, if you tap on the little volume icon, you'll be able to go through and change it from vibrate over into sound mode and then when you hit on those two arrows it'll open it up you can change the volume over here you can change the sound of your media you can change the sound uh, volume of your notifications as well as the system now underneath here you can go through and hit on that little settings icon it'll take you right back inside of sound assistant now once you're all done with that let's say you wanted to see a few more things it's able to do when you open this up, you'd be able to click on that little uh, graph, the little bar graph going up and down. This is your equalizer. This is where you can change if you want it to be a normal, pop, classic, rock, custom. You can really move all of these around here. So if you want a little bit more treble, or if you want a little bit more bass, if you want a little bit more vocal, um, but I'm gonna go through, put it over into rock. Now, once you make any type of a change, you can actually hit on save. It's this little save icon there, and you can save it, and you can even share it with somebody else. Now, if you don't want to look at it like this, uh, with the little drums and the little circular motions, you'd be able to go through individually each and every one of these from you know your highs, mids, and lows. So you can really get dirty, get deep down inside of there, and really customize this. Now, the other thing that I do need to show you is what happens if you have it also connected to a Bluetooth device. Because through the little volume rocker here, when you hit on a button and then you open and expand this, you can actually turn on separate app sound and control everything from there. Now to show you exactly what you're able to do with this brand new volume control that's on the side, you know, being done with the sound assistant application, I'm gonna show you with this Bluetooth headset. This is actually one of my favorite Bluetooth headsets. It's the Aventry NB05. I'll place a link for this below the video inside of the description. So let's just turn this one on. Power on, battery level high, connected. And now that it's connected, let's just go inside of YouTube Music. Uh, we're gonna move over inside of the songs that I have built into my, my phone here, just so we don't get copyright and stricken. So the sound is actually coming from this Bluetooth headset. So I'm bringing it up, you know, close to the microphone. And now that it's connected there, you can go through and you can open this up. Now this icon here means it's connected through Bluetooth. If you tap it once, it's now gonna be on your cell phone. So if I move this out of the way, you can see that the music stayed pretty much the exact same volume. Now, if you want this to go back inside of your Bluetooth headset, because maybe you wanna watch something else on your cell phone, maybe YouTube, or you opened up Facebook or something like that, you just wanna hit on the volume rocker, open this up, and then tap on that icon there. It puts it right inside of your Bluetooth speaker again. 
So now that's inside of the Bluetooth speaker, now let's head over inside of YouTube itself. Let's head over into my channel and we're gonna just watch a video. And you can see that just through this little brand new volume rocker type setup, you can watch anything off your cell phone. So maybe, you know, you're listening to music here uh, and then maybe YouTube over here or maybe there's something with uh, maybe Snapchat that's going on. So as of right now, it is actually coming through the Bluetooth speaker here. We're gonna open this up. We're gonna tap on that icon there. And so now it's playing from the cell phone. So now that it's playing on the cell phone here, I can actually go right up over here, hit on play, and now YouTube music is playing from here. So let's say maybe you're inside of your car, maybe you're at work, and you want your Bluetooth sound to come from the work speaker. So maybe the sound come from your vehicle speakers, but as you drive, maybe you want Google Maps to come through on your cell phone, or maybe for some reason you're the passenger, you know, you got the music going through the car stereo, and then you're still able to watch something on Facebook, you can watch something on Snapchat, and it doesn't go through everything. So separate app sound was already a part of Samsung phones. Uh, going through all the different equalizers was already a part of the Samsung phones, but now it's all being done right here through this one spot. You have right up over here, it's coming from Bluetooth. This one's coming from the cell phone. Then I'd also be able to go through and change all my different equalizers. So on the very top, hit on the little equalizer icon, get all this changed. You could turn on, you can turn off Dolby Atmos. I mean, it's just one of those things that is, you know, super, super cool to the fact that it's like, instead of going through all these different, you know, five different menus, you hit on your volume rocker and you can change everything from here. But not only are you able to do all of these features in one spot, now you're actually able to change it from the top. You can move it to the side, either the left or the right. So if you're right-handed, all you'd have to do is just swipe your finger, you know, right up over here. Maybe it's a little bit easier than reaching up all the way to the top. Uh, it just kind of looks different, you know? I, I mean, I, I dig it anyways. It, it just brings a lot of cool features with it. And again, if you need to change anything with Sound Assistant or even turn it off, you'd be able to hit on that little settings icon and this is where you can get that done. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. Subscribe right over here on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.